Hello everyone. Today we are going to design a two-way slab. Let us read the question and write the given data. Design a two-way slab for a hall of inner dimension 4 meter by 6 meter. The short side should be taken as LX and the long side should be taken as LY. The slab is simply resting on 230 millimeter thick brick wall along the four sides. Wall thickness is given as 230 millimeter. The live load on the slab is 4 kN per meter square. The load due to finishes taken as 1.2 kN per meter square. Use M20 and FE415. FCK is 20 and FOE is 415. The first step is to find the thickness of the slab. We have to open IS-456 code book, page number 39. For slabs spanning in two directions, the shorter of the two spans should be used for calculating the span to effective depth ratios. Our short span is 4 meter. We have to use this. Our slab as given in the question is a simply supported slab. For that, the ratio is 35. But this ratio is only applicable of shorter spans up to 3.5 meter and loading class up to 3 kN per meter square. Our short span is 4 meter. It is more than 3.5 meter and our load also is more than 3 kN per meter square. In this case, we have to reduce this ratio. I have reduced this as 25. We have to convert LX into millimeter. 4000 upon 25, we will get the effective depth D as 160 millimeter. Now we are going to find the overall depth D. Let us take a cross section of the slab along the short span. This is the rebar in the short span and these are the rebars in the long span. From the center of the rebar from the short side, to the top of the slab is the effective depth D. To find the overall depth D with the effective depth small d, we have to add this distance. This is the clear cover. Let us keep the clear cover as 15. This distance is the diameter of the rebar upon 2. Let us keep this diameter as 10 millimeter. 10 upon 2, it will be 5. So when we add these three, we will get the overall depth D as 180 millimeter. Now we are going to find the effective span. First, let us do that for the short span. In the code book, we have to open the page number 34. Using this class, the effective span should be the minimum of these two. In the short side, the clear span is 4. The effective depth is 160 millimeter. We can convert that into meter, that will be 0.16 meter. When we add these two, we will get 4.16 meter. Then we have to find the center to center of the supports. The wall thickness is given in the question as 230 millimeter. We can convert that into meter. We have to add the span with one wall thickness, that will be 4.23 meter. In these two, 4.16 is the minimum value. So the effective span in the short side is 4.16 meter. In the similar way, we can find the effective span in the long side. That will be 6.16 meter. Now we are going to find the factored load. First, we have to find the dead load. For that, we have to multiply the overall depth D with the unit weight of the concrete that is 25 kN per meter cube D we have found 190 millimeter we have to convert that into meter 0.18 into 25 we will get 4.5 kN per meter square live load and flow finish are given in the question when we add these three we will get the total load as 9.7 kN per meter square to find the factor load, we have to multiply this with 1.5. We will get 14.55 kN per meter square. 
the factored load for 1 meter length will be 14.55 kN per meter. Now we are going to find the moments. In this codebook, we have to open the page number 91. From that, we can copy these two formulas. We have to find the bending moment coefficients. We have to use this table because in the question, nothing is mentioned about the corners being held down or free to lift. We can assume that the corners are not held down. In this case, we have to select this table. We need to find LOE upon LX. For that, we will get 1.48. 1.48 comes between 1.4 and 1.5. So, for alpha X, we have to select these two values. To find alpha X for 1.48, we can do interpolation. This value plus this minus this upon this minus this into 1.48 minus 1.4. When we calculate this, we will get 0.103. Now we are going to find alpha y. We have to take these two values. Then we can do interpolation. You can see that the values keeps on decreasing. In this case, we have to use negative sign. This value minus this minus this upon this minus this into 1.48 minus 1.4 we will get 0.047. Then using these two formulas, we can find the Mx and the My. And using this formula, we can find the shear force that is 30.26 kN. We can compare Mx and My. Mx is the maximum one that is 25.94 kN meter. Now we have to apply the check for maximum depth let us see how to derive this formula. In the code book, we have to take page number 96. Instead of xu max upon d, we have to apply 0.48. In this way, we can derive this formula. Fck is 20. The breadth we have to always keep as 1 meter, that is 1000 millimeter. For the required depth, we will get 97 millimeter which is less than our effective depth 160 millimeter. In this case, the effective depth D is enough. The section is under reinforced. Now we are going to design the reinforcement for the short span. In the code book from the page number 96, we can copy this formula. In this formula, we can apply all of the values so that we will get this equation. Using a calculator, we can solve this equation. For AST, we will get 491 mm square. Now we have to apply the check for AST. In the code book, we have to take page number 48. The mild steel reinforcement shall not be less than 0.15% of the total cross-sectional area, that is 0.12% of BD. For that, we will get 216, but our area is more than that. In this case, we can proceed with this area. Using this formula, we can find the spacing. Small AST is the area of the cross section of the rebar. We have already decided that we would keep 10 mm diameter bars. So this is the AST. We will get 159.96. Let us round that to 150. Then we can find the provided AST, 1000 upon the spacing into small AST. We will get 524 millimeter square. Now let us design the reinforcement for the long span. Here the moment is 11.83 kN meter. D will be 150 millimeter. Let us see how for the long span the effective depth D will be the distance from the top to the center of the rebar in the long span. Let us extend this line to the other side. We know that this distance is 5. I am going to keep the diameter of the rebar in the long span also as 10 mm. So this distance also will be 5. 160 minus 5 minus 5. We will get this D which is 150. Finally, we will make this equation. Using the calculator, we can find AST. For that, we will get 225. 
in the previous step we have found the minimum ast which is 216 our ast is more than that so it will be safe using this formula we can find the spacing in the long span also we are using 10 mm diameter bars for the spacing we will get 349 but the spacing should not be more than 300 in this case let us provide 10 mm diameter bars at the spacing of 300 mm now let us apply the check for cracking three things we have to check first we have to check for the minimum area on both of the directions we have done that already then we have to check the diameter the diameter of the reinforcing bars shall not exceed one eight of the total thickness of the slab d upon eight will be 22.5 our diameter is less than that so it will be safe then we have to check for the spacing of the steel it should not be more than three times the effective depth of the solid slab or 300 millimeter whichever is smaller 3 into 160 that will be 480 the maximum spacing provided in the slab is 300 millimeter it is not more than 480 and 300 so it will be safe now we are going to apply the check for shear stress in the code book page number 72 we can see this formula the shear force we have already found it is 30.26 kilo newton we know that 1 kilo is 1000 for tau v we will get to 0.19 and then using this formula we can find the percentage of steel our percentage of steel is 0.33 it comes between 0.25 and 0.5 our fck is 20 so we have to select these two values using interpolation we can find tau c for 0.33 we will get 0.4 in the code book we have to take page number 72 we need to find k our overall depth of the slab is 180 for 175 the value is 1.25 for every 5 increase, there is a decrease of 0 0.01, 1.25 minus 0 0.01, so it will be 1.24. For tau c k, we will get 0 0.25, tau v is less than tau c k, so it will be safe. Now let us apply the check for deflection. In the code book, we have to take the page number 38. From there, we can copy this formula. In the short span, this is the AST required and this is the AST provided. For FS, we will get 225. PT, we have already found 0 0.33. Using both of them, we need to find the modification factor K. Approximately at 0 0.33, we have to make a vertical line. Our FS is 225. This curve represents FS 240. Our value is little less than this, so we have to extend this line little above the curve and then we have to make a horizontal line. This point is 1.2 and this is 1.4, so we can take this point as 1.5, so the modification factor K is 1.5. Now we have to take the page number 37. We have to take the basic values of span to effective depth ratios. Our slab is simply supported, so the ratio is 20. Lx upon d will be 20 into k. k is 1.5. For d, we will get 138.67. It is less than our effective depth 160, so it will be safe. In this plan, you can see the reinforcement details. The alternate bars are bent up. Then we can make a section like this. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.